Hey guys, this is Baby A72, and on this video, we will talk about the biggest mistake most people use when approaching statistics or other sort of numerical data in teamfight tactics. Now, there is one thing that I've noticed that many people, even challenger, even top tier players do when they analyze this information. What they do at the beginning is that they check out this stat the most. They check out the win ratio, they check out the average placement, and they're like, okay, this augment has a very high average placement. It must be good. It must be better than the other augment. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to build a deck that's focused on mascots more than threats. For example, that's usually how most people approach the game. And though this is credible to a degree, this is not important. And this is not how you read the data. Uh, like what you have to understand about TFT is that we don't know exactly whether this game was a very high roll game or a very low roll game. We just know that it got a good placement. So in order to truly understand what makes good data is not to look at the average placement here or the win ratio here. The only information you need to look at is this one right here, frequency, okay? So right now, as you can see, if you check the uh, data for like a challengers in the past like a day, the average like a, like a, like a, like a win ratio for mascot crown is 3.41, right? But the frequency is 27. So we got this information right here, but if you look down and if you look at Cleansing Safeguard. Cleansing Safeguard has a lower average of 3.87 compared to 3.41, but its frequency over the last day is 372, right? So in the past day of Challenger players playing the full meta, there were only 27 people that picked Mascot Crown, and there were 372 people that picked Cleansing Safeguard. This means challenger players in general are more likely to pick this element over that element. And that by itself shows exactly what challenger players truly think is good for the meta. And that's the reason why average placement, using average placement or win ratios to analyze the data is very, very difficult and it can give you the wrong information and if you follow it you will not always get the results you want but if you focus on the frequency as you can see th this cleansing safeguard augment has a significantly higher frequency than the other like a setups right if you look at the frequency 193 on ancient archives 148 on dynamic defenses 138 on uh, Nico, the Nico Augment of Spell Singers, Ox Forces being strong, Bandit Thieves being a solid silver augment. You can get all the information on the top tier augments for this patch if you check it like this. Here we go. Like this, alright? So Jewel Lotus number one, because why? Because the current meta is Spell Singer meta. Ancient Archives number one, because why? Because there's a lot of comps like Laser Corps, Spell Singers, especially Ox Force Bat, that is currently strong in the current meta as well too. Portable Force, because people really like to gamble for that Zanyas. They want to gamble for Zanyas and Manazane. Manazane Nico is a goddess, and Zanyas Twisted Fate is unkillable while doing infinite damage, right? So this is how you truly decide what augments are better than other augments and this is how you're supposed to read stats very easily in tft of course there is a lot more tips and tricks regarding this detail but you don't need to learn them all at once baby steps at a time so i just want to focus on delivering this message on when you guys try to analyze statistics focus on looking at frequency more than average placement. Hope you guys enjoyed.